Hey there folks, how's it going? Peter here from BlackRock Business and today, once again, we're going to dive right into QuickBooks Point of Sale. Now, for troubleshooting with QuickBooks Point of Sale, I would say that, that the topic we're about to cover is probably my number one call driver. And by call driver, I mean uh, the thing that people call me the most about. And that would be when your QuickBooks Point of Sale client cannot connect to the server. Uh, the client will come up and you will see a screen that just shows um, that it can't find uh, a company on your network. Probably put a screenshot right here for you. Uh, but right now I am on a QuickBooks point of sale server and this is going to be a multi-part video series because there are a number of different steps that you would take to troubleshoot client connectivity issues. So let's dive right in. I'm going to show you the first two steps that I would have a customer of mine do when their, when their secondary workstation cannot connect to the server. So the first thing that I have them do right away, right out the gate, is I say go on your QuickBooks point of sale server, go on the file menu, you're going to go right here to switch company file to single user mode. They click on that. It's going to say uh, switching will prevent additional workstations. Yes. Yes, we're going to switch to single user mode, which is going to prevent any workstations from connecting. It doesn't matter because they're already not connecting. Just check this out. This is going to take a few seconds. Now, what is happening in the background right now is the point of sale program is closing down the point of sale database manager. That is the piece of the software that actually serves the database out to the other computers. So it has just closed it down and it put it into single user mode. You're like, why would we do that? That doesn't sound like something we want to do, but it is because it closes it down and then we go right back here on the file menu, switch company file to multi-user mode. I'm sorry, I did that really quick. I went file, switch company to multi-user mode. And now what is happening in the background is it is relaunching the program, the database manager. In the background, the point of sale database is getting uh, reinitiated and the program that serves it to the other computers is getting restarted. So I have my clients, my customers, go ahead and do those two steps, single user, then multi-user. And then I have them go ahead and relaunch QuickBooks point of sale on the second computer. And a lot of times, I would say almost 50% of the time, suddenly they can connect and they're like, oh my gosh, it's magic. How did you know to do that? So that is number one. And then the second step, if that does not work, there may be some system and environmental variables, some Windows variables that are just not jiving. And, and this would be in the case where like every day, day in and day out, it works fine. And then suddenly for some reason it doesn't. So the second step is troubleshooters main tool. It's, it's called restart your computer. <laughs> I know it sounds dumb. And you're like, but it just worked yesterday or it just worked the other day. Go ahead and restart your computer, the server that is, and, and even the client too. Go ahead and restart them both at the same time. You might as well. It's going to take about the same amount of time. When they both come back up, launch point of sale on the server and then launch point of sale on the client. See if it works. So that was steps one and two in troubleshooting client connectivity for QuickBooks points, point of sale. Excuse me. And we'll continue this series and I'll probably make a playlist out of it so you can probably see all the videos in order and you can follow the troubleshooting steps. Stay tuned for the next video in this series on troubleshooting QuickBooks point of sale client connections. All right, have yourself a great day. Oh, don't forget to check that link down below there. Got some QuickBooks secrets just for you. Yep, my name's Peter. You have a great day.